right. G'day homesteaders, or whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, today, we are going to officially test the Wagner Control Pro 250M. It has the word Pro in it. So the idea is this should be a professional level machine. It definitely has all the markings of a professional gun, all steel parts, some plastic like the lock or the back of the handle, but mostly it's all metal. Uh, and Wagner is famous for making their sprayers. So from what I remember of watching YouTube videos yesterday, I put the the nozzles, uh, both the uptake nozzle and the return nozzle, that's the return nozzle, uh, into the liquid. At this point it's water. The cat is really interested for some reason. Do you like water? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> once the machine gets turned on I'm sure you'll lose interest. Or you can drink some now, it's fresh. <laughs> uh, It'll be a different story in a few minutes. So what I want to do is I want to put the uptake hose into this fresh water uh, and then spray it through the gun. And then when I can see that the water is spraying through the gun, then I can change to paint and then spray paint through the gun. The thing is because the hose itself is nine meters long, that means there's going to be nine meters worth of water in this hose which I probably want to spray back into the water container. And then when the paint starts coming out, I put that into the paint. Um, at the end of the process, I want to empty all nine meters of paint out of the hose and put that back into the container too. So we don't have to waste anything. Plus, I hate to imagine what would happen if you didn't clean the hose out and the paint hardened inside this hose. You might as well buy a new one. And it's not a normal hose, it's a... Um, High uh, eight millimeter airless or wireless maximum pressure 1,600 psi. Uh, the psi in my bike tires is about 55. Oh, Jamie. All right, I'm sure he'll move once the machine gets turned on. Uh, so yeah, this is very high power, uh, and there's also a warning that comes with this. Uh, it says that if you blast yourself. Uh, with the tip, with this tip, you could actually cut yourself uh, because of the high pressure and inject paint under your skin. And that paint could go into a vein or anywhere. You absolutely would have to go to a doctor. Uh, there's no question about that. That's why you have to play it really safe with these high pressure machines. Uh, and always make sure you keep the, the guard on the tip. Uh, and you really could slice yourself up or, or cut yourself or even damage uh, some of the other things just by getting too close to them. You leave the protective guard on and always be conscious of which direction your paint is flowing. That's going to make a big difference too. All right, I haven't used the system before, but as I said, what I saw online was, first of all, you press the little red button three times for some reason. <laughs> Priming is down, all right, if you could come around here a bit. Uh, priming is when you're pointing it down, and then I guess active is either of these directions. I don't know. What's it say? <laughs> okay, down. And let's see. I'll turn it, uh, alright, I'll take the lock off the gun, put it on one. Uh, I guess that builds the pressure up inside. Uh, I want to spray it out of the gun because I guess that was meant to be part of it as well. Oh, <laughs> let's try that again. 
Um, wait, I put on the spray. He function. said in the video you had to turn it on two, not on one. All right, I put it on two. Looks like that's working. Um, I'll put the tip on. All right, homesteaders. <laughs> Should I say homesteaders? Honey, you the silent partner. Come on. What about cottage rebuilders? Cottage rebuilders. Or something. Anyway, um, uh, I have to mix the paint. I'm sure Jamie doesn't want that anymore because now it's been through the machine. Uh, this is the cheap ass paint uh, from uh, Feta. Anyway, because it's got two stars out of five, so it's not going to be the thickest paint in the world. But luckily, we bought the Wagner machine, which means we don't have to thin the paint out. We just have to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. All right. So this is how it comes. Uh, sometimes they suggest if the, if the paint is cold, you can put a cup of warm water in there and mix the cup of warm water in. Uh, I don't know how cold it is or isn't. Is that a bug or something that fell in? Mm -hmm. Alright, gross. Take that out. <sighs> Quality. Um, I haven't opened this before, but anyway, I'll mix it up. I'll start nice and slow. From the bottom. pretty consistent. Uh, there's a filter in the end of the Wagner and there's a filter in the handle of the, the spray gun. So I don't think I have to put this through pantyhose or anything like I saw those Russian guys doing um, unless the paint quality is really bad. Mind you there was a fly in it or something. <laughs> so, let's see what happens with the Wagner machine. All right. Alright homesteaders, I'm not sure again, I haven't done it before, I'm sure most, pa most painters don't sit on the ground like this, but um, yeah, I, I gotta, alright, I gotta prime the pump again, get rid of the water out of here, and get paint going into the machine, and in order to do that, I've got a switch. <clears throat> Feels weird to put these big hoses in the paint bucket, but that's what you're supposed to do. This thing <laughs> is going to get tangled up if I'm not careful. So, at this point, I want to spray back into the water bucket. In the prime position, I'll put it.
that's it. So in that position, it stores up the maximum uh, PSI and then just sits there. So it doesn't make sound. It's kind of nice. It's actually a quiet machine. Remember the last video? It was awful. It was so loud, even when I was just trying to change the paint buckets, it was super loud. Uh, so with this tip, I start it facing in towards me. I'll tighten it. Okay. And then I turn the key around the other way. Have a look what's happening in the tip. So I turn the key. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm not near the trigger and the lock is on. Uh, so that's the, when I'm emptying it out, if there's a blockage and then I turn it and that's the ready to paint spray. You can see it's sort of a flat edge. I think you can see that, right? All right. We did buy the little wand that goes with it because every professional online was using the wand. And also I didn't want to get on top of a ladder to paint the ceiling. So you can, whoops, you can imagine <laughs> the wand makes all of it much, much easier. Maybe without the wand, I'd be able to paint the ceiling, but I wouldn't be as confident going longer distances. So with the wand, I'll be more confident having a more consistent line, which is what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna start over here. Um, I have not done this before. So if I squeal like a stuck pig or something, I probably did it wrong. Um, I want to do these frames. Everything that's, there is, oh yeah, all right. Okay, safety first. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I got new glasses the other day, so I don't want to get paint all over them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, lock is off. Let's see what happens. Hold on, I'll just, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So you can hold it. <laughs> Damn it. pretty consistent. I can't tell because it's white on white. Anyway, uh, I'll just do this.
It works exactly how you it saw how you saw it on the video. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see it's already drying. That's pretty cool too. All right, let's get through this one. sort of stopped having pressure for a second and it sounded like a vacuum cleaner. I'm not sure if you recorded that bit. But um, uh, yeah, I just turned it off, uh, checked it, primed it again, uh, and everything's working again. So I'll do the last part. It looks like I'm going to run out of paint. But um, we'll try to get this room finished, at least this bottom portion. Uh, definitely this part has always needed to be repainted. The only problem is we can't see the white on white. So it's hard to tell if you've done too much or not enough. <laughs> as long as it's not running, I guess it's all right. But yeah, we'll use the rest of this paint uh, on this room here.
Yeah, the hose is still a little tricky because it. The hose is still tricky because it wants to always curl up in a ball. So it has to be very, very far away from your paint and far from the wall so it doesn't touch it. But it does touch the walls a little bit and it's a little frustrating. You've got to keep a handle on where that hose is going. Otherwise, the paint itself is good and the spray is good. Maybe the quality of our paint wasn't so good, we could have strained it first. But otherwise, we haven't had any real hiccups. Um, but it's ready to go now, I'll finish painting the ceiling. Very little overspray, very consistent, right? I'm coming up. <laughs> Hopefully this toilet paper stays where it's supposed to. You can go to the bottom of the stairs and film me painting up to them, mm -hmm. on this side. Yeah, if you thin the paint a little, it works better. This one smells. It yeah, but it's not um, uh, enamel. It's probably just sticky because of the stuff that's in it. But I don't think it's chemical. Anyway. I'm going to need a lot, so I don't know if you want to hold it really.
Okay. I, I took off the lance because now I'm in a very confined quarters and I really don't have the opportunity to use the lance without bumping stuff or hitting my elbow on something else. The hose does touch the wall a bit if you're going up these staircases and things. It would be good if you had an offsider or some sort of workmate who could take care of the hose and make sure it doesn't touch the wet work. Otherwise uh, it would be pretty tricky to do by yourself. Anyway, now I'm down to the last portion, just the top part here, that door. Um, and hopefully this is all done before the paint runs out. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, quite consistent, and I guess it should be even easier now without the lance. There should be less overspray. Not that there was much, very, very little overspray. But still, check this out. Okay. Start here.
cool. <laughs> going around the corner is going to be tricky. I hold the holes. I might have to do that part last. Because mm -hmm. that's going to rub all over it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 